hello friends um this is siraj and uh, in this video i will tell you how to make your own parser uh, for a given grammar here i'm using the visual studio compiler and the language i'm using here is c so first of all let's define our grammar uh, i'm going to make the parser for uh, uh, the grammar of uh, prefix prefix expressions so so here i'm defining my grammar for prefix profession, uh, expression zero or one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay now this is our grammar and we have to make parser to check if any string is uh, is can be generated from this grammar or not okay so let's begin hmm. I am using here standard library uh, header file for using the exit function. Okay, so there is nothing to worry. That why this header file is included. Now um, make our main function. Um, first of all, you have to uh, you have to know what is a predictive parser is. A uh, predictive parser is a type of parser that parse the uh, string or input string uh, without backtracking. So, what it does, it make a look ahead variable uh, that points to the next to the next character of the string and uh, check the syntactical errors if any. So here I'm making a look ahead variable which is of type care and uh, string uh, let's say of length 20 that will contains the input of our string okay so now i'm writing a print statement for user to enter the string Now, uh, what is the function of the look ahead variable? Look ahead variable is uh, store the next character of the string. So let's make a function next that will return the. No, it will not return anything. Hmm. It will store the next element of the string to the look ahead and I am going to make a variable i which is increment whenever the statements execute and I am going to make this variable static because on every time the function calls the value of the i should be remain uh, conserved I mean, uh, it should not be reinitialized every time the function is called. Okay. Now, our uh, two functions are defined. Now, here, first of all, see the number of uh, non terminals in our grammar. Here, only one non terminal in the grammar. So, as you know, that in the productive parser, total number of procedures is equal to the total number of non terminal in our grammar so here my function so uh, say called s for 
this mountain mill okay so why does uh, it look for the non terminal industry that is if look add is equal to plus that is yeah it is present in the string so what it will do it will match wait a second i will explain you this thing uh, here look ahead uh, is the character scanned that is let's say i have input the string 9 plus 5 so first of all look ahead will point to the 9 and then plus and then 5 and so on so at the beginning it will point to the 9 so what it will do it will check that which character look ahead is on and then it matches to the string and if it is matches to the grammar then it will uh, increment the look ahead that is now look ahead will point to the next character of the string so we have to define our match function also here if p is equal to the look ahead so look ahead equal to next here i'm going to make return type of next as care because it will be assigned to the look ahead variable which is also a character and it will return look ahead i can also do this thing uh, like this because our look ahead variable is a global variable so i don't need to um, return the look value to the look ahead okay this is also do the same thing as before now yeah and if doesn't matches the string that is uh, our grammar define the string like this and the character do not match as the input so it will generate a error printf syntax error and exit now here let's complete our s function now else if our look ahead encounters a minus so it's uh, look ahead pointer will increment by one and uh, from the definition of grammar there should be a an s and another s so i'm going to call a recursive i'm going to make a recursive call of s mm, else if i have any number of them 0 1 2 3 uh, till 9 so if look ahead is equal to one or equal to two and so on I can do the same task by by uh, writing the range that is from 1 to 9 but for the for the convenience uh, to make the program convenient I am writing the them explicitly okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 I forgot to write the 
power of the tensile no it's done so whenever we encounter any uh, number so it should uh, do nothing it just increment wait a second i did something wrong here i have to write a separate if else statement for each of the number so here i am only considering sum of numbers say 1 2 3 to see if the program works okay and if it work for 0 1 and 2 so it will also work for 0 1 2 3 9 okay so just for checking i am using 0 1 and 2 else if 1 I'm copying them 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 else it will encounter a syntax error okay so when we go out of the function s so our syntax is correct so there are two methods to check if our syntax is correct first of all the we are successfully out of the s function that is all the recursive call has been returned okay so here i am going to make a call of s and if s returns all the recursive calls of s returns so our execution comes here and here we will print syntax correct but one more thing um Uh, s should return all the its recursive call and one more thing here to note that uh, the look ahead points to the null character that is the all the all the characters of our input string has been scanned so to ensure this i am i'm writing here look ahead equal to the null character so because there may be a case when the s has been returned all from its recursive calls but uh, our string is not scanned fully that is some of the characters from the string are left so in that case i am give a syntax error message now here look ahead variable is not initialized here okay so to initialize it i have to call next function in main before s so here i'm calling next function everything it seems right okay now let's run our program Something's gone wrong here. I have to give uh, the declaration of uh, my functions. Then I think 
now let's compile it again something else come up no oh, i have to write here void because that in the definition the return type of next function is void okay it's done now here i am to here i am writing a infix expression which is 1 plus 2 so it should be a syntax error okay because here we have written the parser for the prefix expressions now enter a prefix expression say minus 1 2 yep it's correct now let's check for some more like uh, minus plus 1 2 three it's correct so it's done thanks for watching guys please subscribe the channel like the video and share it with your friends for any queries please ask me in the comments and to, to see how to compile program in com, uh, uh, visual studio the link of the video is in the description thank you